This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hello and welcome to your CBSLA.com News Brief. I'm Rick Garcia. A school threat posted on the social media app Yik Yak is being investigated by Manhattan Beach Police. The anonymous message has prompted the district to cancel classes at Miracosta High School today. Tension is building at local ports. Truck drivers have been walking off the job since the summer over contract issues. Black Friday shopping could be impacted if a deal isn't reached soon. A settlement could be reached before a sex abuse lawsuit against LAUSD even goes to trial. The case involves more than 60 former students of Mark Burnt, who pleaded no contest to 23 counts of lewd acts on a child. Jury selection in the case began yesterday. Today, the L.A. County Board of Supervisors will consider a controversial plan to add oil wells near homes in Porter Ranch. Opponents of the project want an environmental impact report. The oil com company says the proposed expansion is over a mile and a half from any residence. For the latest on these stories and your news any time of day, stay with CBSLA.com. Getting a look at temperatures for today, pretty warm 70s and 80s, but we're getting a little cooler over the next couple of days, a little cloudier as well. Slight chance of a shower and then bumping temperatures right back up again as we head into Sunday and Monday of next week. That's your CBSLA.com news brief. Remember, we're always on. Click listen live on our webpage to hear KNX News Radio and our other stations live anywhere you are. Now here's a look at what's coming up tonight on CBS 2 News at 11. Free cell phones from the government intended for those in need. But in the CBS2 undercover investigation... You said that I would make up a social security number. Some people are abusing the system and you're left paying for it. A David Goldstein investigation tonight at 11 on CBS2 News.